Today we're going to be talking about how to find your HI or finding the height of instrument. We will be setting up a laser, shooting a benchmark, and finding our HI or height of instrument. What we are using and what you will want to have is a grade rod, a tripod, a laser receiver, and a laser. We are using a GL622N dual plane laser for this example. You want to have a good benchmark to shoot on. They can be different depending on your job site. Benchmarks can be permanent or temporary. And notice in this example, we are using a benchmark with an elevation of 1,000 feet above sea level. Now let's talk about setting up the laser. Some things you want to consider during your setup. You want to make sure you find a stable surface that the tripod legs will not slip on. You want to consider the weather conditions to avoid wind, rain, heat, and think about your proximity to the work being done. You don't want to get in the way of equipment, or you want to be able to make sure you're able to shoot some important laser settings. First thing we're going to do is be turn on the laser. Since we are shooting level, you want to check that your settings are all at 0%. You'll notice on this one that it has 8%. We want to zero that out. So to zero that out for this particular model, we're going to push the yellow number two tab. It's going to light up the Y axis. Then we're going to push a one yellow tab to zero it out. We now need to change the X by repeating the same process. Once we're done, we're going to push the yellow four and lock it in. Laser reset. Lock in and readjust to shooting a level beam. What is the height of instrument? The height of instrument is basically a measurement from a given elevation, which is your benchmark, to the top of the laser beam that's shooting out. So all you need is a rod shot and a good benchmark. Laser receiver settings. First thing you want to do is turn it on. It's going to light up. Then you want to check out your laser beam tolerance. So you look at the button with the arrows. The more lines you have, the wider your beam is going to pick up and the greater your tolerances will be. I generally like to put mine on the fine line. The next thing you want to check is your unit of measure millimeter or inches, and then check the sound levels. Depending on the area you're working, you don't need it super loud, maybe you can quiet it down, it's totally up to you. Now we're going to talk about the grade rod. I always use an engineer's rod. Some things you want to notice. The large red will be your feet. The top tick is pointing to the even foot. The black letters represent the tents, and you'll read the top ticks on those, and the ticks in between the tents are gonna be your hundreds. Always remember the bottom of the ticks are odd, the top of the ticks are even. You can also read the back of the rod. When you're using the back side of the rod, you're gonna make sure your laser has a bracket, and when you attach it to the rod, you want to make sure the top of the bracket is flush with the top cap of the grade rod. When you use this method, you always raise from your bottom section up until it clicks in, then you go to the next grade rod section. Just tighten it up till it's snug. Next, we're going to find a benchmark. Things to consider when you're shooting a benchmark. Try to keep your rod plumb straight up and down, and you want to make sure the receiver is facing the laser. You're going to hear some beeps. Slow beeps mean to raise the receiver up. Fast beeps are telling you to bring the receiver down. What you're looking for, what you're hearing, you're looking for that solid tone to tell you that you are level. Once you have that, you can look at the rod. You know that you have your rod shot. 
So we're reading the back of the rod. You want to go above the red line on the back of the rod. And you'll notice on this example what a rod reading is. Five feet, 66 hundredths for this particular example. So now to get the height of instrument, we take our benchmark height of 1,000 feet. We had our rod shot of 5.66 feet. That gives us an HI of 1,005.66 feet.